You know something I think this world could use a whole lot less of? Maybe forget about it altogether. Maybe we don't need this at all. Now mind you, I appreciate the fact that this is a part of something, part of life that some people really appreciate. I'm just saying I don't and I want it to just disappear. That is slam poetry. I'm just, I don't think slam poetry is worth listening to at all. And I'll tell you why. Because when, when these slam poets are doing their thing, they all sound the same. It's like, it's not, it doesn't even matter what they are saying. It just matters how they're saying it. They got that cadence going, da 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 And that's all the audience ever remembers. You sit through a slam poetry performance. Do you even remember what the poet said? Or is that stupid cadence just stuck in your head? Da 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 I mean, does it even matter what they're saying? They could just get up there and go, da 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 da, literally say that. And that's all anybody really remembers anyway. The words don't really matter. Personally, I like poetry that has a story, has a meaning, it sinks in, and you remember it. Something like, something from Edgar Allan Poe, Annabelle Lee. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. And we loved with a love that was more than a love. I and my Annabelle Lee, with the love that the winged syrups of heaven coveted her and me. That is poetry. Or Rudyard Kipling even, he wrote some of the best poetry ever. Laws of the Jungle. Have you ever read that? That is an awesome, awesome, awesome poem. It's very long. It goes on and on and on. The strength of the pack is the wolf. The strength of the wolf is the pack. That is poetry right there. Have you ever read The Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling? His whole prose style is very poetic. He would never write that as a slam poem. The Jungle Books would never work as slam poetry. Da 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 da. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the Jungle Books. If you've never read the Jungle Books, do yourself a favor, read it. The Disney movies, I like the Disney movies, but I like the original source material by Rudyard Kipling even better. He was an amazing poet. We need more of that. We need less slam poetry, da 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 and more Laws of the Jungle and Jungle Book. And if, Rudyard Kipling wrote if, one of the greatest poems ever written. If, Rudyard Kipling, Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Frost even, there's so many great poets. And you remember the words, you remember the imagery, you don't just remember that cadence. So, let's just kind of phase out this whole slam poetry thing. If, you're on YouTube and there's some slam poetry that's showing up on your feed. Don't click, don't, don't watch it. Don't give them a view. Don't, don't give these people any more, you know, validation because they don't, they don't deserve it. It's not worthy to be validated. So don't validate slam poetry. Don't watch it. Don't encourage it and don't perform it. You want to go perform poetry? Write a poem that has substance, not just a rhythm. You know what I mean? That's all. That's all I'm saying. Substance over just style. Now the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of my beautiful Annabelle Lee